instrument is that we use to measure current? Is it an ammeter? Good. So this is an ammeter that we're going to use today. Okay? So guys, schools sometimes use ridiculously long wires when they do this experiment. Okay? So we recommend you use really short wires, okay? And these are about 20, 25 centimetres long. So we're going to use short wires rather than long wires, okay? So, it's difficult setting up this circuit with wires and then you've got to disconnect and then you've got to put the ammeter in different places and it gets a little bit messy and confusing, okay? So guys, what we want you to do is to see whether this helps you to construct the circuit better, okay? So what we're going to do is we want you to do this experiment here where you're going to set up the parallel circuit and you're going to put the ammeter in different places to measure the current. Okay? And there's a photograph next to each circuit diagram so you can check whether you've set it up correctly or not. Okay? So, two bulbs and we're going to get you to use these new junction blocks, okay? Right, one wire goes there to there. These junction blocks are just really a wire, another wire. It goes there, like that. And then a wire going to there. And what should happen to that bulb if, when I put this one in? Lights up. Should light up. And thank you, it does. <laughs> And then, and that goes to there like that. Okay? So guys, some of the current will be going down this wire to there, down there, through the bulb, and through there like that. And some, some more electricity will be going down this wire here, will be going down this wire, going across here and going through this bulb, coming back, going down there and going back to the cell. Okay? Now what we want you to do now is to get an ammeter and to just get one more wire. And what we want you to do is we want you to put the ammeter in different places. The first place you've got to put it is here. So what we want you to do is just to disconnect that wire there, put the ammeter in that place, and measure what the current is and write it on the table. Okay? But then what we want you to do, just so you don't get confused, we want you to then just put it back as it was. Okay? And then look at the next one that you've got to do, and you've got to put the next one just there. So you just disconnect that one and put the ammeter in that place. Do you get the idea, guys? Right.